So after my last video sharing my favorite fitness apps, a lot of you flooded my comments with other suggestions that I might have missed. So I decided to make a couple of videos testing out these apps that you guys recommended. And the first one being Fitbit. Now Fitbit is in a unique category because it is mainly known for its hardware. So like the Fitbit Ulta, the Fitbit Versa 2, Fitbit Inspire, and what I have, the Fitbit Charge 4. They do everything from tracking your sleep, your steps, the amount of calories that you burn, the whole nine yards. But I bet you didn't know that they actually have workouts as well as guided health programs. And in this video, I wanna share those experiences with you. What's up everybody, it's your boy Noah. If it's your first time here, I make videos on the best tech and tips to help improve your health and productivity. If this is a something interest to you go ahead and hit that subscribe button now I wanted to break down my fitness app reviews into three distinct categories one being ease of use two being workout difficulty and then three being special features so for the Fitbit let's get right into it ease of use Honestly, I think Fitbit is one of the easiest apps to use. The icons are very simple to read and to understand. Navigating the app is fairly simple. It's only about four tabs to navigate through. And honestly, if you wanna to get to a workout, it takes three or four tabs. I would personally give it a five out of five. I think a five-year-old could probably navigate a Fitbit app. For the second category of workout difficulty, this is actually where I think Fitbit has a lot of improving to do. Now caveat, I have been working out for around nine or 10 years. My body's adapted to certain type of workouts. I've had a lot more experience in it, but it just didn't really do it for me, if that makes sense. It is pretty cool that you have all the different fitness branded workouts in there. Like I think they have Daily Burn, they have Pop Sugar, they also have their native Fitbit Coach. They're not bad, I would definitely build a sweat. Like it wasn't just super easy, I would build a sweat, but afterwards I didn't really feel like I had like the best workout. So for me personally, I gave it a three out of five for workout difficulty. Mind you that a three out of five for me could be a five out of five in terms of difficulty for you. So just again, take it at your own pace. If you're a beginner, it still would suffice as a good workout app. For the last category of special features, this is actually where I think Fitbit excels and blows a lot of apps out of the water. The first thing being they keep all of your health metrics in one spot. And I think that's super crucial because you can understand, you know, how many hours of sleep were you getting? How many workouts have you done throughout the week? How many calories have you burned? Tracking your weight. You have that all in one place, which is super, super useful. And something that I actually found out recently is they will provide you a 30 day report in like seconds of how your health has been over the last 30 days. For example, you can understand the average number of hours of sleep that you've been getting a night, which how many calories do you burn a day? All that is super useful information for somebody to make healthier decisions. The second special feature that I thought was really cool was the health guided programs and mindfulness practices. On the second tab of the app, you can basically see all the different guided programs that are available to you. This includes helping you to become more active, of developing healthier habits, curbing that sweet tooth. For me personally, I did the get more sleep. I mean, hey, doing YouTube on the side, it's a lot of time, but it basically helped me develop better habits of shutting my phone off before going to sleep, uh, preparing around 30 to 40 minutes before going to sleep as well. It just was super helpful in helping me get a lot more sleep throughout the week. The only special feature that I didn't really like and didn't connect with the most was the community feature. Um, it's kind of like a social media feed. You could sit in certain groups and people can post. And it just seemed like it was just a lot of, I, I would never really get into it. I, I would only want to compare my steps to my friends and family. So I would say for special features, a solid five out of five, I honestly would probably give it a six out of five just because of the fact that it's just so comprehensive and what that app entails. To share my final thoughts on the Fitbit app. Overall, I love it. I think Fitbit is doing an amazing thing by embracing the holistic person and their healthy well-being. They're thinking about the habits, they're thinking about the nutrition, they're thinking about the sleep, they're thinking about the workouts. They, they thought about it all and it's, just a great overall fitness and health app. Now, who is the app specifically for? I would say most likely the beginner, either the beginner or the person who is trying to understand where their health is at right now and how they can make small steps to change it. Unfortunately, I won't be keeping the Fitbit Charge 4 or keeping the Fitbit app. It's more for personal reasons. One, for the actual Fitbit Charge 4, I don't know what it is about Fitbit bands. They irritate the heck out of my wrist 
And I know people say you can get different bands, you make it tighter, make it looser. I tried everything, it just doesn't work for my skin. So I have to get rid of it. And then number two, I miss, 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 miss all the apps that I had access to with my Apple Watch. I'll admit it, I'm locked into the Apple ecosystem. Apple, you got me. Which is honestly why I returned the Fitbit Versa 2 one, if you remember that video. Um, however, I won't be returning the Fitbit Charge 4. I'm actually gonna be giving it to my brother. He really loves the Fitbit series. He likes to keep track of the, the hours of sleep that he's getting, the amount of calories that he's burning. So it's the perfect app and product for him. Anyway, question of the day, what fitness app should I review next? Let me know in the comments below. I hope this video was extremely helpful for you. If it was, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, stay healthy, stay productive, and you already know, embrace the hype. Woo! And that's similar to the Fitbit Versa 2, the Fitbit Ultra, Fitbit Ultra. The second special, to f <clears throat> we all know that working a little bit more of improving. And I say that because